Hey, it's Karina, your virtual health coach. And today I'm gonna be talking about one simple concept in health and nutrition and show you a couple of different ways to apply it. So we're going to be talking about potato chips. We're gonna talk about barbecue, cold brew coffee, and a couple of other items. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's go ahead and get started. So the concept is heat destroys nutrients. And a simple way to think about being more healthy is just to avoid things that are cooked at really high heats. Things like barbecue, fried foods, grilled foods, etc. Now, one great example is potato chips. So in addition to these being empty calories filled with really unhealthy fats, they are also a source of a known carcinogenic or cancer-causing chemical known as acrylamide. Acrylamide is present naturally at very low levels in a lot of different foods. But when carbohydrate or starchy foods are exposed to high heats, this chemical is formed in extremely large amounts as a byproduct. And potato chips, french fries, and Pringles have been found to have anywhere from 500 to 1,000 times the allowable limit, the legal allowable limit uh, of this really dangerous chemical. So there's a lot of reasons to avoid fried foods, but the presence of acrylamide on french fries and potato chips is a really, really big one, at least in my book. But potatoes aren't all bad, all right? And if we steam them or cook them at a lower heat, they actually do have some nutrients and minerals to offer. But if you can just avoid the fried versions of these foods, you're going to be doing a big, big favor to your health and coincidentally to your waistline. Another great example where we can see this concept applied is with the prevalence of cold pressed oils uh, and other cold pressed products. So I have a couple of examples here and all of these different products on this table either mention on the front of the label that it was extracted using cold pressed or expeller pressed methods, or this live well vegan protein actually says it on the back here. So it says, quality is of paramount importance to us. We use the most advanced cold pressing techniques right here in the USA without the use of any chemicals. So cold pressing is used to preserve the nutrients in whatever that food is. So here's another example. This is a raw wheatgrass juice powder uh, by another YouTuber that I'm a big fan of, Dr. Eric Berg. Um, and so on the directions for this, it says, uh, do not take with hot liquids since heat will neutralize active enzymes. So again, you can see this concept, heat destroys nutrients in a variety of places. And when you see cold pressed on the front of uh, an olive oil label or really any product for that matter, that just tells you that that processing method has been specifically chosen in order to preserve those nutrients and give you the highest quality, most nutritious product as a result. This also explains why raw food diets have become so popular. Again, the concept of eating foods without heating them in order to get the most nutrients from the food. Now, there are certain foods that it's not recommended to eat them raw. And the healthiest way to prepare them would be steaming, so avoiding any kind of dry heat, uh, and then trying to use as low of a heat as possible. In a lot of cases, vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, and spinach only need to be heated for three to four minutes in order to make those nutrients more bioavailable, uh, but still preserve a lot of those enzymes, vitamins, and minerals that are the whole reason we're eating that broccoli in the first place. Another place where we can see this concept applied is with cold brew coffee. Now, I love cold brew coffee so much that I actually got this Science of Cold Brew box from Thoughtfully. Uh, so it actually comes with 
the jar. There's a filter inside that I can show you. Uh, and they even send you a jar of coffee and a scooper. And I just loved this thoughtfully box. It's super thoughtful. Uh, and I just love cold brew. So part of what makes a hot cup of coffee slightly bitter and in my opinion, requiring a lot of sugar to be added just in order for it to be palatable is actually that when coffee is heated, okay, the traditional method where they're putting very hot water through the coffee grounds quite quickly uh, with a regular coffee machine, you also are extracting some of the oils from the coffee. And it's actually those oils in the coffee being heated that create that bitter taste that can often leave us feeling jittery and again, just makes hot coffee not taste as good. So when you use a cold brew method and you allow coffee grounds to steep for a much longer duration of time at a colder temperature, you are not pulling out as many of those oils and you're not heating them up and denaturing them. So what you get is a cleaner coffee with significantly lower acidity. I think it's like 60% less acidity in cold brew versus hot brewed coffee. Um, and while you still get the caffeine and all the flavor of the beans and all of that, you are actually creating a far healthier way to drink your coffee. It's less acidic on your teeth. It's less acidic to the environment of your stomach. Uh, and you can taste all of those flavors of the coffee beans uh, even more than when you use heat to brew your coffee. Tea is another area where we can observe that temperature has a very, very strong effect on both the nutrients and the flavor of the tea. So on these different teas from field to cup, they actually list the ideal steeping temperature and duration for each tea. And if you've ever had a glass of green tea that seemed really bitter and made you think, oh, well, green tea is gross. The problem is that it was probably steeped either at too high of a temperature or for too long. So to truly brew a perfect cup of tea, it can be really helpful to either have a little thermometer or over time, you'll just start to notice that about five minutes after the water boils and starts to cool down, you get about to the ideal temperature for steeping green tea and things like that. So I love that Field to Cup actually lists the steeping instructions for each variety of tea. And the more that you do your best to follow those instructions, the more that you know you'll get the best flavor and the best nutrients from your tea. So just a quick recap. Heat denatures and destroys nutrients. The more you can opt for raw foods, fresh vegetables, or at least trying to steam or only slightly cook your vegetables, you're gonna preserve a lot of nutrients. When you see the words cold pressed on a juice or an olive oil, just know that that cold pressing has created a far healthier and more nutritious product. And in my opinion, is totally worth that extra cost that you'll often pay for those cold pressed products. Barbecue, roasted foods, and fried foods should really be avoided at all costs. And as just do your best, I know that those foods are hard to avoid, but if you can just skip getting chips or fries with your burger, you're doing yourself such a big favor and really decreasing the toxicity of that lunch or snack. Opt for cold brew coffee instead of hot brewed coffee, and always follow the temperature and steeping instructions for things like tea. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would love to hear your feedback. If you liked this applying one simple health concept, video concept, or if you have other topic requests or video ideas, I hope you'll join us on wellnessplus.tv to find a lot more videos like this. And if you'd like to learn more about me and my health coaching practice, or even book your own health coaching session, you can check me out at KarinaRachel.com. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you again next time. With hundreds of videos that you can stream on virtually any device, 
to help you reduce stress, lose weight, or just improve your health and well being overall. At wellnessplus.tv, we are dedicated to helping you on your health and wellness journey. Join wellnessplus.tv to find hundreds of videos to help you improve the health of your body and your mind. Wellnessplus.tv, get well, feel better.